One thing that we've seen is that coverage has systematically declined as time has gone by. So there was a period in the summer of 2013 where there was a great deal of coverage on Egypt. Much of the coverage was very critical. Uh, much of the coverage referred to what happened in Egypt as a military coup. It highlighted the human rights violations, including the mass uh, killings and mass death sentences that we witnessed um, in the months after the coup. And actually, it's interesting to note that in Egyptian media circles, those news outlets like the New York Times, The Guardian, CNN, the BBC, they were uh, sort of delegitimized as being brotherhood propaganda outlets, which I think is, you know, fascinating on a number of levels. Mm. I mean, you've got, I don't know, you've got journals doing pieces on things that have absolutely no meaning at all or things it's, it's almost as if they're doing pieces of like like london you know what i mean like you know people write stuff about london about like bicycles or, or normal things well, egypt's not in that state right now we've got people dying nearly every week i mean yesterday for example there was a protest in the Giza, and uh, a protester got shot he died um no one cared um i think that uh, the international media um, has been very complacent. It's been very poor in its coverage of goings on uh, in Egypt. It's been complicit in amplifying a so-called CC mania narrative. And at the same time, it's been very poor in covering uh, resistance uh, to uh, the new and this uh, kind of anti-coup mobilization, which is still mobilizing today and which gets absolutely no coverage uh, whatsoever.